Hello everybody and welcome back to our weekly stream. Uh, my today's topic is uh, how to scan an impression and I will design the post and core for you. But uh, first of all, I want to let you know that we released the new dental scan software last week. It's uh, the dental scan 3.3.0. And yeah, if you have an, um, an activation code for that, then you can just download it on the Smart Optics homepage. And um, if not, please ask your reseller if they can make you an offer for the new software. I think it's a great one. So there's one thing that's really cool in this software. I will show you the, the feature of some shortcuts. And yeah, you can see it already. Now it's time to take a screenshot for you. Um, you have many things to, to modify the mesh and to change the view with your keyboard. So take a screenshot and save it. Then you can work very fast and easily with the new software version. Okay, so up to the topic now. Um, let's start with the ExoCut. And I will prepare or create the project first. Um, okay, post, oops, post and core, and it's on two, two, three. Uh, in this case, um, you have different choices to do it, yeah, or different ways to to design a post and core. Um, I will do it uh, with an with the in, inlay uh, indication. But you can also do it with a telescopic indication, for example. If you choose the telescopic indication, then your, um, your post and core will be, uh, get more parallel sides. And if you choose the inlay function, then it will be, have the shape like, like a stump, obviously. Yeah? So let's take the inlay and just choose normal metal things and the default parameters here. Then it's important to choose the scan mode. We have a digital impression here. So I asked one of my friend laboratories uh, to produce one impression with a post and core inside. So I have it here. Um, let's save this project and start with the scanning. OK, so we will scan with the new version now or with the latest version, of course. Scanner starts. And now we should create the project definition here again. We have the tooth number two, three, that's correct. The scan mode will be an impression and the presentation of an upper jaw will be also the impression. Color is okay as a texture and we use the high resolution. So let's start. Now I can put in my impression to the scanner like this and um, Due, due the fact that we are using the universal plate and not the impression holder, um, it's necessary to adapt the Z axis height uh, yeah, up, to the, up to the top in this case. Yeah? Okay, so I just started the scanning. And yeah, um, very important if you scan impressions is uh, that you um, need to cut the impression, obviously, yeah? So if you have, um, give me a second, I, I, yeah, if you have some um, labial shields of the impression there, then it's necessary to cut them away because they are disturbing the view of the scanner. So please keep in mind, always cut the impressions before scanning and then you will get a yeah, good result, obviously, yeah? So if the scanning is done, we will, or I will show you an additional new feature. It's um, one cutting feature. It's uh, named the lasso. So um, with the lasso, you can uh, cut very easily and very fast um, the areas that you want. So I think it's a good thing also in this new version. Yeah. And if you use the color scanning of impressions, there's uh, one benefit also. So imagine your, your patient uh, bites too deep in his impression. Then you have some squeezed areas on your impression. And due to the fact that we, uh, that we are using the color scanning, 
and the color will be inverted on the, on the model after, then you can see all squeezed areas and can block them easily out if you need to. Yeah? So that's a very good benefit by uh, scanning impressions with, um, with the color. Yeah? yeah, the scan takes a little bit longer than a normal scan because it's very hard to yeah, catch all surfaces of, a, of an impression. And yeah, so we decided to create here a very long and universal strategy for all impressions you want to scan or to digitalize. Okay, so that looks good, I think. The scan will be finished soon. Just a few seconds. Okay. It's in progress. And now we should start with, with the cutting. After all, files will be loaded in the, in the viewer like that. Great. So now I choose a view very from the top. And now I take the cut outwards function. And now it's the new lasso cutting. So just hold the left mouse key pressed like this. And then you can move around the areas you want to cut away. Like this. Yeah, I need to train it a little bit. And with the right mouse button, you can say, okay, I want to cut here. And then we also need to cut away all these, the other areas. You can also use the old cutting way. Yep, like this. And there we have also some areas that I missed. Perfect. And the next step will be the matching, of course, of the impression. And then we could start to go over to the ExoCut, to the Dental Cut app, to uh, create our post and core. So just a few seconds until the matching will be done. <clears throat> So don't hesitate to ask some questions nearby. Carsten is also in, in the stream and will try to answer all questions that you have. Okay, great. So now we have the, the STL file from our impression and I can finalize the project and I'm back in the ExoCut DB and can start the design. Hopefully I, I changed the language to English. Yeah, I did it. Great. Okay, the first step if you scan impressions is to yeah, choose the right orientation. Therefore, you just move the model on the upper side like this and say next. And then you are able to, to cut some areas of your, of your scan, but I think everything is fine. So I just go next again and now it's time for, yeah, detect the, the margin line. Um, yeah, you can choose the detect detection function or the drawing function. In this case, I will choose the drawing function without the magnetic line. So I just put some points here. Yeah, like this. Okay, and now I'm able to move the points manually with my mouse but I think it's okay like this so just next to create the yeah the bottom now we need to choose a correct insertion direction therefore I, I choose one view that I can have a look to the deepest point of the of the posting core so set this view as insertion direction okay and then we can go next. And yeah, so now uh, the inlay bottoms. Uh, this depends on, 
on your milling machine. It depends on the milling center you know, that you are working with. So I will leave all the parameters on the default parameters um, because um, from my side, it's not possible to recommend any. So please ask your milling center or yeah, or in fact, you know it by yourself what uh, parameters are the right ones. So I just will skip this step. Great. Okay. So now Exocut will create one tooth. And I just will place it a little bit in the correct area. Yeah, like this. It's a little bit long, but I think in my case, it's, it's just okay. So just next. And now the, uh, the crown will be generated and I'm able to do some freeforming here. In this case, I will just flatten some areas around my, my post and core. Oh, where is it? There. Okay. That's good. And I can adapt the approximal sides, of course, cut them, go next. And now I'm obviously done, but I just want to shrink my, my uh, posting core in this step. So I will go to expert mode and then I go to tools, I think. Yeah. And here I can change my reconstruction type. So just push this button, choose tooth number two, three. And now the software says now um, yeah, yeah, that you want to, to uh, allows you to shrink your tooth, of course, say yes, say okay again, go back to the wizard. And now you can uh, choose uh, the shrinking uh, parameters. I will use uh, the default ones. So just say apply. And then the stump will be shrinked. And now I have the free forming again. I will add some, some material here in the, in this area. So I don't want to have some, some undercuts or something like this. Yeah. I'm missing my, my 3d mouse. It's not here. So it's a little bit slowly moving by hand. So just add some areas and now I can smooth it of course to get a smooth surface if you want to you can add um, some attachments or yeah some retentions to this um, post and core but i think this should be should be fine at all so just say next and yeah your post and core is ready. I will show you the, the jaw scans. And now, yeah, you could freeform it a little bit more than I did, but I think it's, I think it's pretty okay. So in these cases uh, that you choose, um, maybe the telescopic um, indication to create your uh, post and core, then it will be more parallel. Parallel. Um, it's uh, good in cases when you have uh, some telescopes on the other tools. So it depends on your work, but all in all, your post and core is finished and yeah, that's all. So thank you for listening. Um, Carsten will be there on Thursday for you on uh, 11 a.m. in the German language and uh, at 2 p.m. in the English version. He will uh, tell you something about the twin tray workflow. Uh, versus uh, the normal workflow. So it's uh, very impressive and um, have a look there. And we see each other on latestly on Monday. So thank you for listening and goodbye. Ciao.